So guys, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at this base head garage watt meter and I'll be showing you all the features and putting it to the test. So in the box, you get three connectors. You get two two pins. Bear in mind, you don't get the wires apart from the current sensor. You have to make up your own wire for voltage and for power to the unit itself. So yeah, you get two two pins and you get a three pin connector for power, ground and remote. On my case, I've just looped remote to positive, so it's constantly on. And then on the meter, you have the letters and symbols to what you need to plug these into. So for instance, if I put this down, the current sensor, so this will go around your speaker wire to measure current, positive, negative, it don't matter. That will go on the far right where it says C. So you just pop it in and there's little screws there. You just put your wire in. I don't know what gauge this is, probably like 18, 16 gauge, I'm not sure. But you just pop it in and that's for current. For measuring voltage, you again, whatever fits in that port there, you just plug it in, positive, negative, corresponds here. So voltage, it doesn't matter what way it reads it, so you can't really mix it up. But you just pop it where it says V. If you can see that. Power ground, positive on the left, negative on the right, remote on the far right. Pop that in. And it should look like that. So I don't have tall volt up here, so we just have to back out the battery for now. Slap that over here and we can connect up to it if I'll pull you guys back. That's so. Don't mind the noise, it's raining, but um wire strippers. So this can have a go, you can share it with your the power going to your amplifier, or you can just do it straight to your battery, it's up to you. So we'll go positive. Sorry for the janky uh, wiring, it's the best I've got at the moment. And then we'll put this up to negative. And the unit should start to turn on. Zoom you guys in. Okay, so we've got power. So I'll show you it turning on. I'll unplug it from here. So when you turn it on, you're greeted with the base head garage. Alright, sorry about that. I've got to try to keep this in frame. Alright, so you've got wattage, impedance, and if you hold this top button here, it'll go to peak mode and this will show you the highest value recorded. So keep it on here, play your tunes, and it will show you the, the maximum wattage and your rise. Hold it, turn it off, and to click to the next mode, you just tap it again, and that shows you voltage and current. Again, peak mode works on this as well. Just hold it, and it will show it. Next mode, apparent power VA and it also shows you power factor as well if you want to do your own calculation and see raw power and so apparent power and the power factor again peak mode also works on this as well so now I'm going to plug it in and I'll show you what you need to do on the sub side to get it to read and yeah we'll go from there so let's prepare everything, so let's quickly set this back to its start mode and let's get the wires all stripped. I 
I leak quite a bit on there because it's only reading voltage. It's not going to carry any current as such, but I want it to have a good, a good reading when it's connected to the output of the amp. So I can just do that. But yeah. So let me just pop you off the tripod and we'll go around to the inputs for the sub, which is right here. So I want to be dealing with positive. So I'm just going to quickly unscrew that with one hand. And this is where my current sensor wants to go around as well. So I'm going to put you back on the tripod two secs. So with the positive I took out, you just want to grab the current sensor, go this way. I don't think there's a right or wrong way you need to do it, but just loop it through. Yeah. And then you also want to share the positive as well. And just put these two wires back in to your positive terminal on the sub. Or the amp, it's up to you. I'm doing it at the sub because I've got speak on right now, so it won't really work. But yeah, we just add this here. Like so. And then we disconnect negative. And we also put that one in there. Bear with me. Let me get this done and I'll show you guys after. So when done, we've got positive, negative coming into unit. And then we've got voltage reading going into the terminal here. And also a current reading, reading of just one of the positive terminals of the speaker wire coming in. That's it. It's ready to go. So I'll turn it on, play some tunes that hopefully won't get taken down. And yeah, we'll see what readings we get. I'm not going to blast it because there's no need. You guys will get the point. is we'll do a little peak mode test we'll burp the sub not too loud and we'll I'll show you what it does so if you go along the CB rise pretty high there but yeah gets the job done so yeah as you can see it's updates pretty quick and tells you all the information you need to know about how much power is getting to your driver obviously there's no need for me to show you it doing thousands of watts but you get the point it's a very good meter for the price you pay and I think it will complement anyone's setup when it comes to car audio home audio so yeah it gets a thumbs up from me and if you want to buy one I'll drop the link in the description. It's decent. I like it. Alright, take care guys.